Senior Intelligence at the FBI, MSNBC National Security Analyst Frank Figluzzi is here. Tim Hafey, um, when you listen to the criminal referrals that Congressman Raskin listed off there, that, that sort of was the climactic final public hearing of the committee's work, and you look at the breadcrumbs that have been left by Jack Smith, you look at the fact that Pence and Meadows have been in before the grand jury investigating January 6th. Does any one of the crimes referred leap out for you? Well, the order that Congressman Raskin used, Nicole, is exactly the order that I think we'll see in the indictment. The lead charge here, in my view, is, is 1512C. The evidence that the president and his co-conspirators specifically intended to obstruct, impede, or interfere with an official proceeding, the joint session at which President Biden's election was certified, is the lead count. Uh, I think the others are important. I think the least likely is the aid and comfort to an insurrection. That is a statute that has not been used by federal prosecutors. It has not been brought against any of the Jan 6 rioters. Um, I think it's unclear what aid and comfort means, what's the intent level. Um, so I think that of the four is the one sort of least, the most obscure or the least likely. But 1512, from our investigation, we, we headlined with that statute. I, I think that has likely been the sort of operating assumption, the approach that the special counsel has taken. That's the lead count. Unless they have additional evidence, that's how I would expect uh, an indictment to read. And Congressman Raskin named Eastman. Um, is that a, a conspiracy that you would imagine Jack Smith would charge, a conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding? Yes, I, I think you will see a, a, an indictment that will charge the former president as the leader of a group. Right? A conspiracy is, is an agreement. It's a group of people that agree uh, to commit some additional crime here, the obstruction of the proceeding. So you could see four, five, six people. Um, unclear how far he will stretch it. Will it go all the way out to the Republican National Committee operatives that were uh, suggesting the submission of the fake elector schemes, or will it be a sort of a control group, a more tightly held inner circle? Eastman, Giuliani, Jeff Clark, Mark Meadows, um, although it sounds like he may have testified and may be cooperating, all of the sort of inner circle who were helping the president essentially execute that multi-part plan that the select committee laid out could possibly have exposure as conspirators.